so we finally got Frontiers gameplay and the fan base reacted about the way you'd expect. Uh, <laughs> there are some people that were, you know, excited. Some people that weren't too excited. I mean, uh, you know, that's your opinion, you know, whatever. But I, I think, I think I'm about at my breaking point <laughs> with this fucking fan base, mainly because we, we were shown an overworld demo which was exactly what they said they were going to be showing. And IGN, the people that gave us the video, are notorious for basically not really doing a lot of shit when they demo games. So what you're seeing in the background is basically that gameplay session. Like you're just running around, showing the world, um, showing some of the movement, things of that nature. But a lot of people seem to think that this is the entire game. <laughs> or that's what their opinion seems to suggest. When Sega told us straight up, yo, the entire month of June is gonna be gameplay, like basically gameplay demos for this game. We're getting another demo as of today, this recording, we're getting another demo tomorrow, which is supposed to showcase the combat. Um, we're getting some other demos, which are gonna show off some of the cyberspace stages, things like that. But most sensible people understood that this was not hey this is all you're going to be doing in sonic frontiers but there are those few there's always those select few that are just like just crayon eaters man just it's like oh my god i'm so worried for sonic frontiers i'm like bro why they didn't show anything they literally just showed you what the world looked like what the model looked like a little bit of platforming i i what are you worried about dude i don't get it most most egregious of all is just like the basement dwelling analysts that are just like Sega needs to delay frontiers or they already have their opinion on the game when we haven't seen shit for the game and this this happens with every you know every fan base has these people it's really prevalent in the Soulsborne fan base in this one where it's just like you know you don't see anything but yet you have a full fucking dissertation on why the game's gonna be good or bad either way but i've seen a lot of people a lot of prominent sonic tubers already having their opinions on the game and i'm like for one we went a year with no fucking media or gameplay for this game and then we get a seven minute overworld demo and somehow your expectations were shattered like what that that's a youth thing. that's your fault like if you had if you had any type of expectation really for a game that got announced a year ago and has basically been media silent for 12 months and if you think seeing the overworld for seven minutes makes the game a bad game i i don't know what to tell you bro like you you gotta you kind of gotta temper your expectations like y'all's asses is not reading because sega said specifically when they before they showed this fucking gameplay trailer that we were going to get gameplay throughout the month of june this is not the entirety of sonic frontiers this isn't even a portion a sizable portion of sonic frontiers it's the overworld this is some shit that you can do in the overworld and like i said man like you you can have your opinion whatever everybody everybody has a fucking opinion but what I don't like is the unfounded opinion or the knee the knee jerk reviews that people like to do when they when a new Sonic trailer comes out and they just put it they micro analyze everything. Cause I'm like, we we didn't see shit. Like as somebody that's been gaming for 30 years, that's been a part of this franchise for 30 years, we we did not see anything conclusive enough for me to say this game is going to be great or this game is going to be bad. I like the way it looks. That's about all I could say because <laughs> that's all that we really see. Like the game looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. But we don't know any of the core mechanics. We don't know how the combat works. We don't know if there's a leveling system. We haven't seen any of the cyberspace stages. We haven't seen any actual like traditional Sonic gameplay. All we saw was like dude solve two puzzles and then run around the open world for a little bit. <laughs> That's it, the game runs smoothly. Like, from what we saw, it, it looks fairly optimized. Like, I, I have no complaints about the look of the game. 
on top of that shit, there are people saying that the open world looks empty. And I'm like, yeah, have you never played an open world game? Dude, like, there's points of interest, obviously, but like, for the most part, it's all traversal. Like the Breath of the Wild, the game that you had, the game that the internet just loves to praise and thinks invented open world formats for gaming has a lot of really nothing going on in it outside of the points of interest like most open world games do. I mean like yeah there's temples but like outside of temples or you coming across a random town or you going to one of the four major villages like what what the fuck are you doing in Breath of the Wild besides bullshit and that's pretty much what the fuck an open world game entails like there is not a singular open world game where there's just always something to do at every point of the world that that would take away from the fucking open world adventure aspect and again going back to it like the sonic games get put under this microscope that no other game gets put under like i've seen several tweets talking about how they don't like the stage design when we haven't seen a stage like we've seen the open world and an expansive field and that's it there are people talking about they're worried about the platforming and the momentum when again we haven't really seen anything that would adequately showcase the momentum or the platforming that this game is going to have in it. it's just the open world and like i said in almost every other video i've made that pertains to the fan base like sonic fans just get absolutely stupid when we get any type of new media because there have been multiple games boost formula games where if you're not boosting you have a speed cap and there are people talking about sonic feels slow in this game when he's not boosting i'm like that's almost like that's the entire point of the formula like you have to have a cap on top speed when not boosting so that boosting feels good and different like if sonic was able to like match his boost speed in the base running and then boosting is just a fucking aesthetic or just a cosmetic people would complain about that shit as they should because that's not how it's supposed to work like go go play unleashed and just run don't boost you have a top speed there's a top speed in every game that involves the boost formula there's a top speed in every game that doesn't involve the boost formula but like again sonic fan base loves to forget that shit like I, I just I don't understand like every bit of logic goes out the window when when a game doesn't do your predetermined or doesn't meet your predetermined expectations like that's not that's not how gaming works that's not how anything works like we were Sonic fans because we liked what Sega did not because Sega did what we asked if that makes sense because like the the fan base is already divided as hell so there's no way no fucking way that sega could even adequately make a game to please the entire fan base which you know that, that's that's life shit happens but a lot a lot of these knee-jerk reactions knee-jerk reviews are just completely unfounded because the things that we've seen at least in from frontiers have existed across the sonic games for decades at this point like like y'all y'all really really <laughs> need to stop trying to say a game is bad because it's not the game that you would have made like and that that's really like a big problem with the fan base in general like i said like if we get the full game and, and it turns out that you don't like it then that's fine like you are you are more than entitled to have that opinion of like you know you liking what you like and disliking what you dislike i'm not trying to take that away from you but what i am trying to take away from you is this idea that you can judge an entire game from seven minutes of gameplay from a company that's notorious for not doing shit in their gameplay demos a seven minute gameplay that doesn't show anything that we've been told is in the game like the cyberspace levels the combat we didn't see any of that on display and that's with good intention like dude dude is running around the open world running past enemies running past certain puzzles running past structures that obviously trigger some shit that they're going to show at a later time and that's again like people just do not fucking listen 
because Sega said throughout the month of June, the whole month, that's that's four weeks, we're going to be showing different aspects of the gameplay. And people people heard we're getting gameplay on Wednesday and that's going to be the entirety of the game. That's the whole thing. Ah, man, it's, it's just, it's fucking exhausting being a Sonic fan in 2022, bro. I swear to God. To reiterate, like, it's in every one of my videos. I don't judge a game until I've played the game. Now, if something looks obviously broken, like, just does not function, <laughs> then, you know, you can kind of say you have concerns. But, like, nothing, nothing that was showed in the game, in the gameplay demo, the seven minutes that we got looks just objectively non-functional or like we were fucking bait and switch like the the animations look solid the world looks solid like it's it's expansive which is to be expected from an open world game but i there there's just not enough info here to make a judgment either way and like i said i'm i personally i think the shit looks good i'm gonna wait and see you know the other aspects of the game before i'm like all right cool i'm hyped i'm hyped to play this but I, I don't let a couple of minutes of essentially exploration determine the entirety of an open world game especially an open world sonic game like that's just that's just dumb that's just that's just fucking stupid and you you also have to be a special kind of mouth breather to think that this is all that there's going to be after five years of development. I don't think there's ever been a five year gap in Sonic game development. Like to my recollection, like we've had one either every year or every two years, something, something like that. Like that's just completely disingenuous to think that, oh man, they took five years and this is what we're getting. This is, this is everything that they have to show about this game. You're dumb. You're a dumbass. And that goes for anybody that's like just tweeting out their fucking amateur fucking reviews of a game that isn't even out yet. All you, all the big YouTubers, the small YouTubers, game review sites, I don't care. You do not have enough conclusive information to say that this game is good or bad. This probably isn't even the current build of this game because the draw distance is turned off. Like nobody even noticed that. People notice that like once you touch a rail, you continue to grind even without, um, you know, boosting or momentum. But nobody noticed that the fucking draw distance in this game is turned off. Like that's why you can see the floating structures out in the air. Like those are those are placeholder structures and half a brain would tell you, hey, that's this is probably either an early build or you know, the draw distance in the game is off. That's why you can see it from so far out. You have to, you have to at least give people or, you know, developers the benefit of the doubt that they wouldn't make a mistake this amateurish, at least not this early. And I know that's a lot coming from this franchise that has, you know, a couple of, like a couple of missteps, but for the most part, with the exception of Sonic 06, every Sonic game has been functional, <laughs> you know, at least it's, it's at least been coherent. Well, that and shadow the hedgehog. Cause there was literally a room where you could glitch to death and you had to hard reset to finish the fucking stage. But like, just come on, man. Like people, people are just not using their brains when it comes to this fucking franchise. Like it's, it, I would say it's sad, but like I've been here my whole life. So I know, I, I know to kind of temper my expectations when it comes to the Sonic fan base, especially nowadays. Uh, we get a combat trailer tomorrow. I'll probably stream uh, twitch.tv Smoke Joe Star. Come through. Peace.